Hey, Psych2Goers. So, it looks like you like someone and you're scanning through your brain for possible ideas on how to make them notice you. So far, you've come up with nothing. So you think, are there some little things I can do to get them to notice me a bit more? Whether they're a crush, a partner, or even a friend, here are six subtle behaviors to make people notice you and like you more. Number one, don't be afraid to talk about your flaws. Ever heard of the pratfall effect? This is a psychological phenomenon that states that if you're seen as very competent, making a mistake or small blunder makes you more likable than those other very competent people who don't show their mistakes or flaws. People can sometimes be intimidated by people who seem as if they have no flaws. So it's not a bad thing if you do show your flaws once in a while. Number two, keep their secrets and share one of yours. Do you keep secrets or are you horrible at keeping them? A 2009 study by researchers Catherine A. Cottrell, Stephen L. Newberg, and Norman P. Lee found that people greatly value trustworthiness in their relationships. The study states, across different measures of trait importance in different groups and relationships, trustworthiness was considered extremely important for all interdependent others. The evidence for the enhanced importance of cooperativeness across different interdependence contexts was more equivocal. Trust is a big deal in a relationship. So you might as well show your crush your relationship material by keeping their secrets. One way you can show you trust someone early on is to tell them a small secret of yours. This may just bring you closer. Number three, mirror your partner's gestures and behavior. So you're at a party and you suddenly find yourself subconsciously mimicking the gestures and movements of the person you're talking to. What's going on? This instance is called the chameleon effect and was explored in further studies. If you're often subconsciously mirroring your crush's gestures and movements, this could make your crush like you a bit more. Why? People tend to like people who are like them. The next question is, do you notice them mirroring you? Number four, show them you like them. Are you afraid that your friends will reveal your true feelings to your crush? Well, your crush finding out can often be a good thing. Why? Because of reciprocity of attraction, or sometimes known as reciprocal liking. This is a psychological term used to describe when one person starts to feel attraction for someone only after hearing that individual likes them. A 1959 study published in Human Relations told their group subjects that certain individuals in their group would likely like them. After group discussions, subjects told researchers who they liked the most. Can you guess who they liked? You guessed right. The subjects chose the people they were told initially liked them. So if you like someone and wanna be friends or perhaps more than friends, let them know you like them. This may get them to start thinking of you more and then they may just like you back. Number five, start deep conversations and sometimes paraphrase what you understood. Do you hate small talk? Well then don't shy away from starting some deep conversations with your crush. Research from Harvard found that deep conversations and meaningfully talking about yourself can help activate the very same regions of your brain that delicious food or sex activates. The study states that over a 45 minute period, subject pairs carried out self-disclosure and relationship building tasks that gradually escalated in intensity. Study one found greater post-interaction closeness with these tasks versus comparable small talk tasks. So while small talk is fine every now and then, when you're on a romantic date or speaking with your crush, a more meaningful discussion may excite them more. When you both open up and reveal your true emotions, your partner may fall in love with the deep, engaging conversations you have together instead. Actively listening is often seen as attractive as well. Remember, it can't just be you talking on a first date. A good way to show them you're actively listening and that you understand them is by paraphrasing what they've told you. Repeat it back to them. This is known as reflective listening, so, actively listen and then offer what you understood from their discussion back to them. It's a great way to show you empathize with them and it can bring you closer. Findings from a 2007 research study published in the American Journal of Psychotherapy furthered this theory. The studies have found that when therapists use reflective listening, their patients had a higher chance of disclosing more information about their emotions and their therapeutic relationship with their therapist improved. Not only is it good for your romantic relationships, but it's good for any type of relationships. Simply put, it brings people closer together. And number six, display open body language and build your confidence, then show it. Do you show your confidence when you can? It's great to have confidence in yourself for many reasons, and it can often help when getting to know others as well. Perhaps you've heard that confidence is key. 
Well, showing some confidence can indeed be important when getting others to notice you romantically. Displaying confident behavior is often seen as an attractive quality. Why? Well, generally people wanna be confident. So seeing someone who is can be admirable. One way you can seem more confident is if you display open body language. Keep your chest and torso open and try not to cross your arms as much. Closed body language can give off the impression you aren't available or simply don't want to talk. Availability is key in making friends and simply giving others a chance to talk with you. So that crush of yours? If they notice you, look approachable and welcoming. They may just have an easier time introducing themselves to you. There has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we are so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thanks for being a part of our journey. So what do you think you'll do to get your crush to notice you? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.